Hey kitties, so here is my freshly washed hair. And yes, I do use a towel because it actually prevents my hair from frizzing as well as it doesn't tug and pull at my hair and ripping it out and causing damage. So here I am just separating my hair into two pieces and I am applying the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion. I ran out of um, leave-in conditioners, so I just used this basically as a leave-in conditioner, but it still works just as great, and it also serves as a little bit of a heat protectant, and I'm just distributing it evenly throughout my hair, just kind of breaking up the pieces and really working it in there. All right, so here I am separating my hair once again. And now I'm going to go in with my Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. And I absolutely love this gel for my hair. No product buildup, and it just defines my curls so nicely. So I section off piece by piece. I actually grab smaller pieces. And as I start to apply it, I actually start to clump up the sections. And the reason why I clump up the sections, it's to avoid frizz and flyaways and just basically picking up little pieces. And that actually helps your hair end up having more definition in the end. And you guys will see that at the very end. <laughs> So now that I have all of my hair clumped up and twirled, I'm going to start scrunching it. And basically now I'm going to prepare it for some diffusing. And I'm just using my plain old cheapy con air diffuser and just diffusing my hair until it is completely dry. I usually use the cold setting or if not the warm setting. I do not use the hot setting on my hair. I just don't want to add too much heat to where it's causing damage and too much frizz. So now I just flip it over to the side, giving it a little volume, getting that full definition all the way around. Now that my hair is dried, I'm gonna use my Camille Rose Naturals Moisture Milk and just that, and just work that into my hair. I can't even talk right now. I'm gonna work that into my hair just to add extra moisture to the hair and also kind of get rid of any flyaways. It also helps give my hair a little more definition as you can see. 
and look at them curls. They looking poppin'. And now my favorite, I'm going in with a wide tooth comb and just picking out my hair and this is going to help with the volume. You're just going to lift at the root and I don't really have that much volume at the roots of my hair so picking it just really helps and then just scrunching it up and putting your hands through it, just breaking it through and voila, look at that definition and look at that volume and honestly this was done so quick throughout the night and here I am just separating my curls since I did do the clump if you actually separate your curls your hair will actually end up looking a lot fuller so try it out look at that mm -hmm. little mama feeling herself and that kitties is the finished product look at that bounce mm, I am living for these products and I'm still currently going through my hair journey trying to improve my curls each and every day so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick wash and go tutorial don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will see my beautiful kitties very very soon love you